I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again before too long. Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contains some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer? They couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind. That it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that BB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more site, that's all we should need. Good luck. Good work. New order available. Please access the terminal for further information. Sam, I see you received a mail from our Mountaineer friend. Seems he's got an order for you. Might be good to give it a look.
Bridges. There's someone we need you to deliver a package to. She's a strange bird. It lives even higher up in the clouds than we do. And the research she's doing? Well, it's out there, and then some. And we're talking straight up occult stuff, though she wouldn't be very happy hearing me say so. And she claims she's delving into the mysteries of the cosmos. Anyway, I found this rock out in the mountains with a handprint on it. And when I mentioned it to her, she got all excited. I honestly don't know what kind of close encounter she thinks it signifies. But I was wondering if you could bring it to her for me. And joining the UCA has opened my eyes to a few things. Like how there are all these people out there trying to make sense of the Death Stranding in their own way. And sure, her ideas may sound like the ravings of a lunatic to me, but they clearly mean something to her, and I'd like to help her out. With your assistance, that is. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Sam, it's just like the one at South Knot City. A vortex loaded with so much chiralium that it's almost off the charts. Slowly but surely, it's creeping closer to us here in Mountain Knot. At least that's what I think, but I can't see it. Not with the naked eye. But the data doesn't lie. It's the same temporal phenomenon that you told me dropped you in a war zone. I told you. Uh, but that wasn't. The Cupid's Limiter can handle most chiral spikes, but we didn't plan for another supercell. Another supercell? I told you it was the same as before. Mama, is that you? You got me, Sam. It's been a while. But not really. Malingan, Machna, we're the same. One body, one mind, one being. There's no point in trying to draw a distinction. Not in this world. We're all connected. Remember that. Order assigned.
Bridges. I've been expecting you. The Mountaineer told me all about you. This handprint you brought me, or 
stencil, as I prefer to call it, is a vital clue. It hails from an era long before the dawn of human history. I'm going to date it and lay bare the cause of the Death Stranding. And when I do, all the secrets of the cosmos shall be revealed. Uh, did you know this mountain used to be a pyramid in ancient times? <laughs> it's true. You won't find a place closer to the beach than this. To the wellspring, a source of untold power. How else do you think that chiral network of yours works? But I digress. Show me the stencil. Thank you. It's in excellent condition. <laughs>